Guitar players, we need to practice. We need to practice. That's uh, the way we keep. Uh, we keep, uh, you know, our playing uh, better. Each time we we have the opportunity to to perform. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm practicing chords uh, right now, you know. How do you practice chords? How do you practice your chords on the guitar? Do you do you try to memorize the chords the chords that you have been playing all the time, and you, you try you, every time you you pick up your guitar, and then you try to to remember. You know your memorized chords, and then play them so you so you can remember them. Is that the way you you pra practice your chords on the guitar? Well, um, if uh, well, I guess if if you get good results. By doing so, well, I guess I, I, I you know, I, I, it might work for you. If it works for you, I guess uh, it's a, it's, uh, it's a good thing. But uh, in my opinion, uh, you know, one of, one of the uh, one of the ways, one of the good ways to to practice chords is try to. Uh, Try to uh, try to you know you probably you probably need to know some something about music theory. I mean you don't have to be a, a, a guru in uh, in music, but at least the basics how how you uh, how you build uh, a chord. Uh, you know, stuff like that. Um, 
the so then, then that that means if you want to know how if you're gonna build the code you have to know where those chords come from so of course if you're gonna build if you're gonna build the codes you're gonna have to to be to build those codes on from from scales um, for example from the major scales from uh, you, you, we can you, we can take the C major scale as an example if you're gonna build code you have that means you're gonna build code in a scale on the notes within that scale so but uh, you, you have you need to know you need to know a little bit about about music theory in order for you to know how to build those chords you have to know which note you know you can which note you to use to to make those triads and then when you add the, the extensions and you can get major seventh and minor seventh uh, diminished and augmented augmented and so on so so it uh, so I'm not I'm not saying that you know you need to be you need to get really involved deeply in music theory but at least the basics how to build your how to build your chord and that will help you that will help you a lot so you don't have to really try to memorize uh, and 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 play over and practice over and over the same chords that uh, that you've been playing all, all the time. So uh, you know, I don't know. That's uh, that's the that's the way I look at it. You know, and also if you also you, you we we need to know. Yeah, for, we need to know. We need to. Yeah, it's a must. <laughs> As, as guitar players, we 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 need we we must know our scales, you know, um, especially the the most the 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 one that I use uh, the the most popular ones, such as the major uh, the uh, major scales, the natural minor scale. Uh, melodic minor scale, harmonic minor scale, all those scales we need to know because within within all those scales we're going to we're going to we can build different types of chords on on every note uh, in the scales. So uh, and also now when you it's it's not it's not uh, it's not sufficient just learning the chords. How are you gonna use the chords? How are you gonna use the chords in a song, for example? How those chords is gonna move is going to if you're gonna put them together, how do how they're gonna follow each other in a in a prog in a progression? Well that's that's why that's the reason why I that's the reason why we need to know something about 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 uh, the the uh, the circle of fifth and fourth. You know that uh, this is the foundation of of uh, chords progressions in music. You know uh, the the circle of 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 fifths. You know. It's just like a clock, you know. And, you know, you got twelve o'clock, six o'clock, and so on. And then, if you go clockwise, when you go clockwise, so you're moving uh, in uh, in uh, interval of perfect fifth, perfect fifth interval of fifth. So, whichever note you start on, whether whether it's a C. 
you know, C, G, and so on. You, you're going to move if you if you move clockwise. You're moving in interval of fifth. So you're moving in interval of perfect fifths. If you move counterclockwise, that's the opposite. You're moving in a circle of no you're moving in a, in interval of perfect fourths so you you know you have you know that's this is the this this the circle of fifth and fourth that's 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 the building block of of chord progressions in music, we 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 need to know that. We need to know that as 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 musicians, as as a guitar player, as guitar players. So, uh, it, uh, like like I mentioned in some of my videos, this is the reason why it's good for guitar players to know. To know something about the keyboard, to try to play the keyboard, you know, try to because on the keyboard it, it's easier, it's much easier to build to build chord, to build your chords. You can see exactly what note, what notes comprise a specific chord on the keyboard, and then and then you can come back to your uh, you can come back to your guitar and. Try to emulate what you, what you just uh, what you saw, what you just learned uh, from from the keyboard. So that's what I do. Uh, you know, uh, uh, like you don't have to be a, a, you know, especially especially if keyboard if the keyboard is not your instrument, you don't have to have a you know. You don't have to be like a, a guru on, you know, a guru as a, on the keyboard. But uh, but if you know the basic the basics, you can actually take advantage of of the keyboard to 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 learn to learn and build chords. But like I said, uh, it 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 pays to know uh, something about music theory. Okay. To me, um, in my opinion, uh, when it comes to when it comes when it comes to chord progressions in music, the most widely used progression, I would say, the most wide, the most widely used, the most popular progressions in music. Uh, two cadences is uh, the first one is especially in jazz. Uh, it's the first one is one, two, five, one. The second one is six. Well, let me put the one first. The second one is one, six, two, five, one. That's the that's the two most, in my uh, in my opinion, that's the two most widely used progressions in music. So you see why it it, it is it is very important to know your scale because it, when you when somebody when someone says to you. Two five one, so you need to know what he or she stuck she's talking about. What is one? What is five? What is two? What is uh, that's that's this is those numbers that are assigned to the notes to the notes in the scale in the major scale for for example, the first note in the scale is one. Okay, this, this, the second note in the major scale is two, and so on and so on. So when someone 
tells you play either on the guitar or on the keyboard someone tells you to play one two five one is telling you he or she's telling you to play the number one the chord the chord built on the number the, on, uh, on the number one note in the major scale and and two the chord built on the second note of the major scale and the chord built on the fifth note of the major scale and you, and you come back to the one so that's why you need to know because for each note in the in the scale such as the, uh, for, for for example in the major scale there's a number one two three four five six six and so on so when, when if somebody tells you to play a play one two five one if you if you if you indicate of c okay I'm going to, in that in this case I'm going to play okay tell me you tell me to play in I'm the I'm in the key of C and someone tells me to play one two five one okay then I'm going to play C I'm going to play C major seven as a one I'm going to I'm going to play two I'm going to play D minor seven as the two and I'm going to play G dominant seventh as the five and I and I and I come back home to the one chord which is C major seven. Okay, so and another thing that we need to know when when the when we have a two five one one two five one or a one six two five one progression now if the one that there's a difference which what type what what type of chords what types of chords we're going to play depending on the chord of of resolution okay depending on the one depending on the type of on the type of one the five is going to resolve on if the five is going to resolve on a major one well that's one thing but if the five is going to resolve on a minor one that's a that's another thing so the there's going to be a slight well i would not i would not even say slight there's going to be a different in in the sound of those two progression just because one resolves on a on a major one and the other one resolve on a minor one i, I can give you an example okay i'm going to play Okay, let me play. Uh, this is a this is a C major C major seventh chord. I am playing. I'm using. I'm on the third fret, and the root is on the fifth fifth string. C major seven. Okay. So, if I'm going to play two five one, so I want. I want D minor seven. Okay, I want D minor seven, and then I'm gonna play. Uh, I'm gonna play um, uh, G dominant seventh, and then resolve on the one, and that would make it two five one. D minor seven, well, it's gonna be right here. Okay. <laughs> scale I can start if you want to play like that one 
two, five, one. Okay, I start with one. C, C major seven. D minor seven. G dominant seven. Back to the one G major, C major seven. I can even play an open chord here. Maybe I can play uh, C, C major six nine. Why not? C major six nine. You got. We have a lot of options. When when we yeah, available to us to not to 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 kind of uh, vary what we play. You know, I don't like to play the same thing, the same thing over and over, over and over. I like to, I like to uh, vary what I'm playing. You know, it's it's uh, playing the same thing over and over, over and over. I, I don't like to do it, but I don't know. So, what if I want to? Okay, that that was. Uh, I just play uh, a two five one, one two five one, but the one. The five chord resolve on a major one. What if what if the five chord is going to resolve on a minor one? It's going to be different. Now you have to be thinking about okay. Now since uh, since I'm since the minor since it's going to be uh, a minor two five one. It's not a major to five one. But now I'm thinking about okay. I need to think about maybe a minor scale. A minor scale instead of a, instead of a major scale. Well, I, I can be, uh, you know, if I, you know, you then you can you can be thinking about okay. Maybe I can. It could be the C natural minor. Maybe I can go. Maybe you can go in the key of a C natural minor and then get your. Your two, five, and one, because uh, you know, because now it's not the two, five, one. It's not the two, five, one that resolve on the major one. Now it's a two, five, one that's going to resolve on the minor one. So now I may, uh, I may be thinking, okay, maybe now uh, I need to be thinking about another scale, not a major scale, maybe a minor scale. But okay, it could be. It could be another. It could be another. Uh, uh, another. It could be a minor chord, but it can also be a. It can. It can. It also can be. Can have the same root, which is a C. So it can be. It can be maybe it can be C minor. It can be C minor scale. Okay, so which I would call a parallel. You know, parallel scale to you know, yeah, that's what I would call it, a par parallel parallel scale. And so, then if I do that, then if I my, uh, you know, when I'm when you go into, it's not necessary when you going to resolve the five, the dominant chord to a minor tonic it's not necessary to to change to modify the the dominant chord but you want the sound to really reflect to reflect the key that the notes belong to. So in this in this case, I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna be one. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna play two five one. And uh, and the one is gonna be C minor. So the if you if you know your scale. In the in uh, in the C minor scale, the two. Is uh, is D minor seventh? That's what it is. 
No, no. It's I think it's D minus seven. Um, flat five. Okay, let me. Is this one here? This one here. If I got it, if I got it wrong, you can uh, you can do your own research and then and then figure it out. But that's that's what I think it is. So you're gonna play uh, D minor seven, and then you play your dominant chord. Now it's not it's not, it's not gonna be just G seventh because not because yo. You're gonna resolve it on a minor, on a C minor, on C minor. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be G dominant seven sharp five flat nine. So I, I resolve it uh, on a, on a C minor nine. Yes, C minor nine. So I can do it again. Let's, I, I, I can play the one. I can start with the one. C minor nine. That's the one. The two is D minor seven flat five. And the five is gonna be G seven sharp five Sharp five flat nine. Okay, so I'm gonna play. Uh, I'm gonna play the. I'm gonna play two five one in major. And two five one in minor, so you can hear the difference for yourself. This is the. This is two five one in major. And I'm, let me start with one. C my C. Major seven. And the two is gonna be D minor seven. You know, I think earlier I think I made a mistake in the two I think I play when I play the G instead of playing G minus D minor seventh. I think I played D dominant seventh earlier, so I'm gonna fix that now. So it's gonna be one and D minus D minus seven, and then G seven. I think I made that mistake earlier. I play, I play uh, D dominant seventh instead of it. Instead of, instead of D minor seven, it's not a big, it's not a big mistake. As a matter of fact, I would not even call it a mistake. A, a mistake because you can do that. You can substitute chord for chord instead of a. So instead of playing the D minor, I can I can substitute it with a. With a, with a with a D dominant seven chord, oh, you can you can do that. It depends on the sound uh, you're looking for, or this the, or the music uh, you you're playing. So okay, so for the minor, it's gonna be I play C minor uh, C minor nine, D minor seven for five. So when you when you pack uh, my uh, my practice partners my practice partners students of the guitar when you practice chord think of uh, don't try to play all the chords that you are really 
you have you probably you prob you probably have memo have memorized play it over and over and you know, try to try to learn uh, try to practice your code uh, with a, with some kind of uh, uh, established uh, uh, in a in a systematic way so you don't have to try to memorize you have to, of course you cannot memorize all so many codes that do, you know out there, there's no way you're going to remember. Uh, you, 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 you're going to remember everything you try to you, you try to memorize. It's not it's not possible. So, um, yeah, when you when you when you practice chords, think of cadences. Think of this circle of fifth and fourth, and circle of fifth and fourth. Think of cadences, like I said. Think of chords progression, okay? Like, uh, uh, I'm gonna play, uh, uh, let me play some chords, uh, uh, like maybe some two, five, one, six, uh, six to five, one. And, and remember that the, the, even though in a, in, in a in a in a key, like a, like a major key, in a scale like a major scale, C major scale for example, the, in on the second note you're supposed to play D minor seven for the two. It's not. It is not. If you want to change that, you you can do so. You can substitute chords for chords. Okay, so. If I if I if I got a minus if I got a D minus seven for example, okay, I can substitute substitute it with a D dominant seven chord. It's not there's no there's no problem. It's not there's no problem with that. You can do that. And if you want to play a combination of the two, you can too. No problem. You can you can do that kind you can do that kind uh, that kind of stuff. Um, it's uh, you know music music is it, it, sound. If it, if it sounds good, it's okay. All right. So let me see. Uh, F. Uh, if you have a, if you have your guitar, uh, go to the, go to the F. Uh, F on um, on the uh, first uh, first fret sixth string. Uh, you can play the play. You can play a bar chord, a bar chord. Because when you have a bar chord, you know you can you can play. You can move up and down the neck and play di uh, different chords because it's a bar chord. You know. <laughs> This is F here. I'm gonna play F. Now, when you you play F as one, that means right away, right away, you need to be thinking about okay, F major. Okay. Uh, well, it could be, it could be, uh, it could be the C major too also. But if it's the one, if, if I'm thinking it, if I'm thinking of it as a one. It's a, it's it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, F major. It's going to be F Ionian mode, F Ionian mode. But if I'm thinking, I, but I can think of it also as a, as a four, then it would be then, then it it would uh, it, it would belong to the key of C. But now I'm I'm. I'm I'm going to use it as a one. That means that that means F major scale, F Ionian mode. So if you're going to play, if you're going if you're going if you're going to play if you're going to play two five one in F, okay, it's going to be F. Then you got G minor 
that's the 2, G, G minus 7, or G minor, G minor, or G minor 7, that's the 2, and then what is the 5, the 5 would be C, C dominant 7, so we're going to try something here, okay, this is one, and remember like I said, like I told you before, you can substitute chords for chords, you can substitute minor chord for major chord, major chord for minor chords, and and if if you substitute uh, a, a, co a chord for the same for the same letter note, it is called direct substitution. If I subst if I substitute a D minor seventh chord for a D dominant seventh chord. I substitute, I substitute D with D, even though the, the type is, diff, is different, so it is a direct substi substitution. Just like you have other type of substitution, such as, um, uh, I think uh, there's one called dominant uh, flat 5 substitution, all those things. This is, the, this is that kind of stuff as uh, guitar players we need to, we need to learn we need to know F major let's see this is a I can play I can play two minus seven but I, I can substitute substitute it I'm gonna play uh, G I'm gonna play let me play a two two nine two dem, yeah two dominant nine with a G dominant nine G minor seven here. C dominant seven. G minor seven again. C dominant seven. And back to F. That was two five one. As you as you can see, I play two as a dominant nine, and then at the same time I use the, the two minus seventh. You know, like I say, we're talking about G, you know, because G G minus seven is the two. This is this is the G minus seven, right? Or you can just play. I can just play like this. Or G minor nine. If I, I can change it, I can change that if I want to. I can substitute this chord with a dominant chord. So what I do, I just I, I substitute it. I substituted it with a, a G dominant nine. Oops. At the same time, I still use the the, the G the G dominant seven. C dominant seven, and then and then back to the one F F major. I didn't play, I didn't play F major seven. I just play F major F major. the same progression but I'm gonna change the I'm gonna change one to <laughs> I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna change the one I'm gonna change the the one I'm I'm, I'm gonna <coughs> excuse me I'm gonna substitute the one chord which is the major the F major with the flat seven in the key of F in the scale in the scale of F F major, and the flat seven in the scale of F major is uh, is E flat. Yeah. Okay, let me, I'm going to try that to see let's see to see how it sounds. Instead of 
dissolving the dominant 7 to the 1 chord I well I think uh, I use a I use instead something called deceptive cadence that means you were you were expecting me you were expecting me to resolve on the one then I then you 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 ante you anticipated that I was going to resolve on the one then I changed my mind and uh, I resolved on the flat seven instead and then this this is called a deceptive cadence and that could that could uh, the e the the e flat <coughs> excuse me the e flat the e flat seven chord that I play the e flat dominant e flat seven chord that I play actually is a, is e flat sharp eleven that's e flat dominant seven sharp eleven that's what it is. It's a, it sounds it sounds pretty pretty decent, and then it's a movable it's a movable chord. You can move it up and down the neck. See, so there's a lot you can do, and um, let's see. So. Uh, yeah, yeah, so let's see. Yeah. And also, I can do other things. Let's see. I can play that. I can play. I can play six. I can play six, two, five, one. It doesn't have to be. The chords don't have to, uh, you know. Two, the two doesn't have. The six does. Well, I can. Let me. Let me. Let me put it this way. I can play. If I want to, I can just play only dominant chords instead of minor chords in my 2-5 progression. I don't have to play 2 as a minor. I don't have to do that. Okay, it depends on, on, on the music you, you're playing. It depends on the sound you're looking for. So I can, if I can, if I can play 6, I'm in the key of F. If I'm, if I'm going to play 6 two, five, six two five one, so I should be playing uh, D minor seven as a six, mm, yeah, I think so. But yeah, I can, I can just play the uh, D dominant nine. Then I play. I can play two as a, uh, which is G. I can play uh, dominant thirteen. Maybe something like this. Seven. I can play a uh, let's see a B. I can play a B flat major nine. A B flat major nine here. I'm on. I'm on the first fret. I'm on the first fret. The root B flat on on the fifth string, and I can move the chord uh, up and down the neck.
that's the way I practice chords on the on the on uh, on the guitar. I'm not saying that's what you should do, but that's the way I do it. And, you, and if you feel like you want to do it your way, if your way works for you, that's fine. But uh, I'm just as my practice partner partners partners as uh, students of the guitar. So I, sh I just as a, I just showed you how I do it, and then hey, if 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 uh, if I was uh, if I can be any help to you, as you can be for me, hey, it's a good thing. So all right, so you know, keep uh, playing, keep practicing.